Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to GenSense. Hope that you're doing well. It's time for another collaborative video. You and I working together to create the ultimate fragrance list of fragrances that make you smell like a boss. And when I say that, I don't mean Big Boss from uh, Metal Gear Solid, and I don't mean Rick Ross. Although, both of them are our bosses, I guess, as well. No, I'm talking about fragrances that give you confidence, make you smell like a million bucks, and make you feel like the boss. So I asked you guys on the community tab a little while back of the YouTube channel, as I do from time to time, what is the fragrance, the fragrance that when you wear it, it makes you feel like the boss? And I have right here your answers. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I'll have all of these fragrances linked in the description below. Feel free to check them out down there. And I do wanna say that there were a lot of fragrances mentioned that get mentioned very often when we do these videos together that I removed, that I did not include, but I wanna give those a shout out because they did get mentioned over and over and over and over again. So let's do those super quick here. Dracar Noir, which it pained me. It pained me to remove that one. You guys know I love Dracar Noir. I mean, I got it right here, right? This is my jam. So all of you that selected Dracar Noir, Yes, that is the ultimate boss fragrance, but Dracar Noir gets mentioned a lot. Also, Dior Homme Parfum, that one gets mentioned a lot, uh, so I had to take that down. Pretty hard to find, but amazing fragrance. Blue de Chanel Parfum, Platinum Egoiste, Terre d'Hermes, Green Irish Tweed, Sauvage Elixir, Creed Aventus. All of those got mentioned a bunch, but I wanted to put in at least a few fragrances that don't get mentioned quite as often, and so those had to skedaddle. Again, I know. It's painful, but all of those great choices. Okay, let's do it. 12 fragrances. We're gonna do 12 fragrances today. We're gonna kick things off with this one right here. Man, I put that down way too hard. Too much emphasis, too much sauce. This comes to us from Donovan McDonald, 7926, who says, Creed Viking. It's modern day Old Spice, the scent of a boss. You heard it here first, Old Spice? Boss scent. Which to be fair, they had a, uh, what, Terry Crews doing the commercials? Terry Crews is pretty boss. So, I mean, I guess, I guess it checks out. Yeah, Old Spice. For a lot of people though, I think when they think Old Spice, that's like one step removed from Axe. So uh, I don't know how many people would be like, yo, Axe Apollo, the scent of a boss. Although uh, I I'd be lying if I said I didn't wear Axe back in the day, I did. And depending on where you live, it could be called Lynx. So Creed fragrances came up a bunch. Of course, I already mentioned Green Hours Tweed and Aventus, and now Viking, that's three. And um, Royal Oud got mentioned a bunch as well. That's also a really good one. But Viking seemed to get mentioned most often. And it makes sense because this one has a nice freshness to it. Very easy to wear. It does have a bit of a resemblance to Old Spice, the Old Spice of Yore, only with a much higher quality to it and more modern. Definitely masculine. Nobody is gonna smell Creed Viking and go like, I don't know, man, you're kind of unisex. Nah, nah. And I like this one, I do. And it's grown on me more as time has gone on also. Not that I disliked it initially, but this is one of those ones that as time goes on and you kind of get removed from the launch period of this one, you can really appreciate it. And what I mean by that is when this came out, in case you weren't around then, you weren't into fragrances or whatever, uh, it had a whole bunch of hype and the type of fragrance this is, it couldn't match that hype level. Because at the time this launched, most people viewed it as like the second coming of Aventus, right? Like this was gonna be something that changed everything the way that Aventus did because it had been kind of lurking in the shadows for a while and they were dropping hints about it. And then the bottle came out or, you know, the presentation style where everybody could see it. And they were like, oh, look at that, it's done up very similarly to Aventus, only with this red coloration, and it was called Viking. And everyone was like, ooh, super masculine. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. And then it did smell kind of like Old Spice, and people were like, Whew. that That's what we've been waiting for? Old Spice? What? They just Uncle Rico'd this, you know, <laughs> chuck it over the mountain, but as time has passed, like I said, you can approach it uh, with fresh eyes. It smells good. Now we've got 808 Paintball, who says Bulgari Man in Black. Not only is it one of my favorite boss slash confidence fragrances, it's been my signature scent. I will say it can be hard pulling it off in Hawaii because of the climate, but if you look like you know what you're doing, 
then everyone will think you know what you're doing. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. It's like life advice. Isn't that what they call fake it till you make it? Pretty much. If you look like you know what you're doing, everyone will think you know what you're doing. And then after that, he should just put, even if you don't. So I guess our guy, 808 Paintball, he's, he's out there rocking Man in Black in Hawaii. Um, probably not the situation most people would think of wearing this fragrance, but like he says, if you look like you know what you're doing, it doesn't matter, I guess. So you just blast that on and carry yourself with confidence and people are gonna be like, isn't that way too freaking strong for right now in the middle of summer? It's freaking hot. Humidity is 200%. And then they're gonna look over at the guy and he's gonna be like, I don't know, guy actually looks like he knows what he's doing. It smells pretty good, actually. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a summer fragrance, I think. I'm pretty sure, I mean, he, he knows, that guy. And actually, I completely agree with the choice. Man in Black does smell sick. Uh, it's really, really nice, similar to Spice Bomb in some ways. It has like every masculine note you could think of. Leather, yes. Boozy notes, yes. Tobacco, yes. Spices, yes. All of it's in here. Quality is good too, really solid scent. Snake Filled Chimp is, is up next. That's a, that's an interesting name, Snake Filled Chimp, who says, Parfums to Marley, Carlisle. In fact, I just can't really find times to wear it because it seems so formal and classy to me. Let's be honest, I'm not exactly Mr. Fashionable. But thank you for being honest with us, Snake Filled Chimp. With a name like that, I would have thought for sure just rocking tailor-made Tom Ford suits, but I guess not. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take that advice from 808 Paintball and give that to you, Mr. Chimp. All you have to do is look like you know what you're doing. It doesn't matter if you're Mr. Fashionable, just try to look like you know what you're doing. You can wear this anywhere. Middle of summer uh, and a crowd of hundreds. Carlisle, go for it. Just walk with your head up high. Now to how this actually smells, it is pretty strong. Good performance, lasts a long time. And it does have more of a formal lean to it. A little similar to Red Tobacco from Mancera, uh, but with less of an aggressive spiciness off the top, a little more elegant. Carlisle, a great choice, absolutely a boss scent. Jared Steele, 6229 says, Tony Iommi Monkey Special from Zerzhov makes me feel like a total rock star the boss. I guess technically a rock star boss fragrance would be Bruce Springsteen, but this will do. And I guess it makes you feel like a rock star because of course, uh, Tony Iommi was in Black Sabbath. So yeah, a bit of a rock star thing. Zerzhov loves that man. Zerzhov loves making fragrances with uh, rock stars from days of yore. That's the word of the day, days of yore. Or I guess the phrase of the day. Wow, this stuff is <laughs> Really stupid good though. Uh, I, I can't deny that. I love the way this smells. Oof, big power. Only need a couple sprays of it, you know. You go heavy with this. So you're gonna be choking people out aggressively. Got a lot of notes going on here. Nice fruitiness off the top. Booziness, a richness to it. Tobacco sort of feel as well. Even though tobacco is not an official note in the fragrance. Uh, the way that the sweetness, the warmth, the spices come across, it could kind of give you that feeling. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful scent. And another one, that's a good choice. Abdella AB1 says, gentlemen reserve privé. Whenever I wear it, I feel like a boss running a successful business or someone who is wearing a suit and attending an important event during the evening. I guess that's what we're going for. So yay, success. Very nice. Running a successful business. Uh, this is a, another awesome choice. Adela crushed it with this one. Uh, I love Gentlemen, the, fra I lo the fragrance line. <laughs> <laughs> I love Gentlemen, if you know what I mean. So uh, Gentlemen Reserve Privé, uh, really nice iris note in this fragrance. You also have booziness once again. Booze, that's a, that's a recurring thing here. Recurring theme, recurring thing. Possibly the best in the Gentleman line, this one. Uh, the way that it does, the warmth and the sweetness melding with that iris is perfect. And yeah, attending a formal event or an important event during the evening, this would be a, a perfect choice of a fragrance. So another good one. Then we have Nick Scan 6444 who says, all time, question mark? Probably Carlisle. Nothing else needs to be said. 2023 releases, question mark? Boss bottled elixir. 
Uh, somewhat in the same vein as your Sauvage Elixir and is spicy and woody in a way that just licks. The name also speaks for itself. Get it? Boss bottled? To feel like a boss? Question mark? I do get it. <laughs> it's big brain, mega mind. And I actually agree with everything that was said here. Uh, yeah, Carlisle, we already talked about that one. It works for sure. Boss bottled elixir also works. And yeah, it's pretty well in the vein of Dior Sauvage Elixir. Spicy, woody, very masculine, slight throwback feel to it. Mm, yeah, just works. Really masculine and a great choice for a boss scent. And like he points out, it has boss on the bottle, so half the work's done for you. So these first six, Murderer's Row. My Sam K, did I pronounce that correctly? Probably not, 3975, who just says very simply, Thamine Carved Oud. Another great choice. And of course, the best part, the cap is a magnet. One is a good one. So Carved Oud, in case you are unaware, is kind of in the vein of, um, Oud wood from Tom Ford. Definitely say that it is inspired by Oud wood or that it went to the Oud school of Oud wood. It's very smooth, elegant, rich, sophisticated, very nice warmth to the spiciness. Touch of sweetness, not too much. The Oud is not overwhelming. Uh, it's very easily worn, this fragrance. Uh, just a lovely scent all the way around. One of my absolute favorites from the brand, if not my favorite, really good. Stanford 2590, he, he hit us with one that's uh, definitely different, and I appreciate that. He says, Armani O Pour Homme. He does say the new 2013. I've got the old style here, which you can, you can tell just by looking at that. That is, oh yeah, look at this. You see that? Look at that atomizer, oh, that's ancient. Uh, but anyway, he says the new 2013 iteration. I may be wearing a t-shirt and shorts with it, and I'd still feel like I'm wearing a suit. It simply smells of class and sophistication, like a posh British accent. Underrated gym for me. Posh British accent in bottle form. So like I said, I've got the older iteration here, but they do smell uh, quite similar. Now this is a uh, classy, classy boy. It's, um, you know, a little in the style of Eau Sauvage Eau de Toilette from Christian Dior, uh, not to be confused with Sauvage, uh, it's very different. You have that herbaceousness, but it's very fresh and green, um, a little bit more of a sharper citrus, but it doesn't come across bitter or a pudding. Very, 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 very classy, uh, as Stanford points out. It is going to appeal more uh, to middle-aged guys and up just by the nature of the type of fragrance, but man, really, really nice and uh, definitely overlooked at this point. Michael Styles makes a return appearance and says, for me, I'd have to say, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Mans Elixir. Highly complimented, very easy to wear based on sprays and just an absolutely elegant fragrance, in my honest opinion. Easy to wear based on sprays, like how many sprays you do. I assume. Lovely fragrance, of course. Uh, this was my favorite release uh, of the year that it came out. Elixir took what Le Parfum did and somehow improved upon it. So it's got honey in here, it has vanilla, it has tonka, uh, tobacco. So of course, a lot of sweet notes to the scent. You also have lavender and mint, which is going to tie it in a bit more with the from all fragrances that came before it. And even though it has a lot of sweet notes in here, uh, to me, it does not overplay its hand. So it doesn't go overly confectionery or like um, bubble gummy or anything like that. It keeps everything very grounded and warm and enveloping and uh, turns it into uh, both a cozy and at the same time, alluring fragrance with good power as well. Nixon Griffey says, New Harlem by Bond number no. nine. Such an artistic, skillfully blended fragrance makes me feel like a total boss. Albeit a boss who spilled his breakfast on himself, but still, uh, yeah, that's pretty accurate. This one has always been known as having kind of a, a um, what am I saying here? Uh, a pancake breakfast feel to it. My brain just not functioning. So if you've never smelled New Harlem, it has a little bit of that in the air, this sort of syrupy, breakfasty, gourmand feel. And I know that may sound like, oh, that's, that doesn't sound good. Why would you, why would you want to wear that? But 
it actually smells really appealing and different from most everything on the market nowadays. There are some cheap fragrances out there that are gonna get you uh, similar to this, but those are not fragrances that 99.9% .9 of people are buying and wearing at this point. That's more so just stuff that people in the fragrance world know about. So New Harlem does a really good job at standing alone at this point. Chris G 4006 says Tom Ford Ombre Leather, hands down, one of the best Tom Fords and most complimented by my peers. So Tom Ford came up uh, a number of times, actually Beau de Jour came up a lot also. So I wanna shout that fragrance out as well, Beau de Jour. Ombre Leather, one of the more wearable high end, if you wanna call it that, leather fragrances on the market right now. So it's got really good versatility, uh, but then very good quality as well. A nice sweetness to it, the violet in there, really well done. And uh, it's almost like they took what they had done with Tuscan leather, talking about just Tom Ford as a brand. And then they were like, let's, let's try to make that even more mass appealing with ombre leather. And that's pretty much what they did. And then this leapfrog to the top of Tom Ford's leather since, and that's where it has hung out ever since. Originally, of course, this was in the private blend line, then they released it in the signature line, but still. Last but not least, this one comes to us from uh, Noreza BBAS. <laughs> I'm sorry. For me, a Mouage Interlude Black Iris. Now this is a choice I can get behind. This is great. I fell in love with this the second it came out. I still do enjoy it very much. So it takes the Interlude Blue Boost DNA, adds a nice smooth iris to the, uh, the occasion there, and then smooths out the opening as well. It makes it easier to wrap your head around, a little easier to pull off for more people. That being said, it is still Interlude which means for a bunch of people out there, they're gonna smell this and be like, I, I can't wear that, when, when am I gonna wear that? So you do have that potential issue to get over, uh, at least some people will, uh, but just the way that comes across, I think is absolutely fantastic. And there we go. There are your choices, along with all the other ones that I mentioned, and there are still yet many more uh, that are on the community tab. So feel free to read through there and check out some other suggestions. Thank you everybody that submitted your fragrances and everybody that upvoted other people's submissions. Stay safe out there, guys. I will see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.